Often the, the medicines that we use in anthroposophic medicine, which can be, uh, which are sourced from the natural world uh, and are uh, gentle and have very low uh, risk of side effects, um, they're often neither only on the psychological side or the physical side. They really work on both. And that's, I think, central to what anthroposophic medicine is. You know, in standard medicine, in fact, the way we think about things in the world today, we think of consciousness, of uh, awakeness, awareness, being localized, our whole conscious life being localized in our nervous system and especially in our head. Anthroposophic medicine sees consciousness as not just carried by the nervous system in our brain, but also something that is in a continuum over our whole organism. So we are a head-to-toe conscious being. It's also, there's awareness in our heart and lungs, in our breathing and our pulse, and awareness also in our limbs and our digestion. There's a continuum of consciousness. So we're neither mind, only mind, nor only body, either in our head or way down into our toes. It's all really both. And so all of our treatments would apply to both. So somebody with, for instance, a sinus infection, the, the, if they needed an antibiotic, of course, we would give them an antibiotic. But in addition, uh, medicines that would really appeal to, for example, grief that someone was going through, or to the way in which the sinuses as such um, have a kind of mind-body um, connection. So the remedies would all, the medicines really work on both sides.